97 was a good year. Telling stories was pivotal, was a pivotal moment in the band's career. If you were making a record today, you'd want it all wrapped up in like four weeks. We were taking like nine, ten months doing a record. The pace was really good, you know, it suited us. Now, making music was just part of like a, a, a great day out and every day was like a holiday. Creatively, it was non-stop. The greatest period ever, I think. I well, smoked a lot of weed, uh, took a lot of ease. Uh, but we recorded and made a lot of great stuff. Normality had long, long gone out the window by then. It was just this thing called the Charlottes that we were all inputting into, trying to add to. It was feeding us and we were feeding it and it was getting bigger and bigger. Rob Barnes was probably the most unpredictable guy I've ever met in my life. He's one of those people who could come up with a little bit of magic now and again. He was a rock and roll rebel, yeah. He was having a difficult time anyway at that time. Think. With anybody that goes to an institution like prison record will have an effect on your well-being or your outlook on things. I remember seeing headlights in the back and all of a sudden those headlights disappearing. You know, you just got that feeling straight away. You know, something terrible's happened. You know, devastating. Yeah, absolutely devastating. The Charlies have always come back fighting for all, all kinds of problems, you know. And certainly around this album, you know, you can't get a bigger problem. There's always going to have to be a first gig. They might as well have made it then. Might as well have made it in front of 120,000 people. To come back and to play that show so soon afterwards, staggering. I think we went on like wolves, you know, and we tore it up. I don't know how long we were on for, but I think they came off the stage a different kind of band, really. At the end of recording it, we knew we had something pretty special. We'd made a great record, and that record had to come out, and people had to hear it, and we had to play it. Certain records just seemed to have a life of their own. <laughs>